Welcome to the Concentric Home Solution Woodworking Channel. In this video, I will be going over some components that will be putting into my upgraded mobile router table system that I'm working on based around the um, legs of the Craig workstation that is similar to the MFT that is collapsible and you could roll it away like a hand truck. If you happen to like the content and you're new to the channel, I would like to invite you to subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a like and a comment. If you're a regular, as usual, I appreciate you. I'll see you guys on the next side. Okay, here we are. I have two items that's gonna be going into my router table build. The last time you saw this router table, it was just a mock up setup. I use pocket hole screws to put the things together just to get an idea, uh, a proof of concept basically. And as I explained, my full intention is to um, machine a router table for it is not going to be the table you see uh, in the last video. I'm going to produce one to my liking out of Baltic birch. Probably going to be an inch and a half thick, um, two, three quarter inch nominal. And I'm going to design it and produce it on a CNC machine. You guys will get to see that in part anyway. And then it will be bolted, not screwed like you saw, obviously, because I need it to be robust. When I initially um, put together my router table, both of these manufacturers was involved. I have my router table that's, um, sorry, my router that's in there right now is this Triton model. The previous incarnation of it anyway, the previous iteration. And the router plate in it is, is from Woodpecker and it was designed for a router like this, is a lift system. The problem with it is, I had some issues with depth and the lockout system, which is a very cool system that this had because of the thickness. So I'm hoping that this plate is gonna work better. This plate is designed for this, it's only one layer thick, although the other one used to go into itself, it was problematic. And this one has a new feature that I like that you could do height adjustment from the top using this regular router plate. The other thing is, the reason why I have never showed you guys or did a review on a Triton router, even though I own one, I never showed that to you guys because I did some heavy modification, which, you know, for the average person is probably not the best idea. And aesthetically, it wasn't pleasing because I, I basically had to hack the thing to defeat the lockout. It was frustrating me with certain bit lengths. So now I can finally do a review on it. Um, at least showing you the components. This will be somewhat of an unboxing as well. But before I get to it, let's do the plate. This is smaller of the two and it's the closest to me. Push this aside for now. This is from our Red Buddies Woodpecker. And it comes from Mountain for several different routers. But one of the routers, the whole pattern is suited for is this particular model of the Triton router, which is a TRA01. 15 amps, three and a quarter peak horsepower. Let's open this thing up. Box cutter. As y'all know, with the woodpecker stuff, this is a small, basically mom and pop, right here in the United States, produce. You know, I'm always proud of that. I 
at the same time, if you ain't doing right, I don't pull punches either. Purely honest. But when you do right, you're going to get the praises that you deserve. And generally speaking, Woodpecker does right. People might cry about the price and all that, but hey, the quality never disappoints. So this is solid piece of aluminum, machine aluminum. Do I have a straight edge within reach? No, I don't. Let me grab a straight edge. Ah, da, 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 da. You know what? Let me not be, let me not be disrespectful. This straight edge was produced in America to American standards. Uh, Y'all seen this before? This is actually a tool used for aligning um, guide rails for Festool tracks um, saws. It's also a straight edge. Put it up to the light, um, buddy. I cannot see any light on that side. Turn it around. Again, dead flat. Check it in the middle. Nice. For all intensive purposes, it's dead flat. Very important. Happy with that. It came with one ring already installed, and it's the countersink kind, which is meant to, this, um, to work with, um, you call those, those copy, um, I don't know why the name can't come to me right now, for, for doing copying, those rings, is designed to accept that. And it comes with two other ones. I have the whole kit of aluminum ones. These are the plastic ones. So actually I don't have all of the aluminum ones. I have more of the plastic ones. I've, uh, either way, I have a whole set of their reducers. And this helps with, um, you know, chip out and so forth. If this, the closer, the more support you have um, up to the cutting tool, is the less likely the fibers is gonna break away. So that's the reason why you, you want to have a variety of, of these different diameters. And it's a twist lock style. So it comes with a tool. I don't know if you can see it here, there's arrows tightened that way, loosened this way. I have the uh, metal one. This is a plastic one that they apparently they sell now. So. And that's loose and you take it out very convenient you drop it in and tighten doesn't take much so it comes with a tool also it comes with an allen wrench um, keys or whatever to install the leveling the leveling device to level it with your router table and you have a starter if you do freehand work. You have a starting pin, it comes with a starting pin. And it also includes some screws, I guess, for attaching it to the to our router. Put this aside. Some instructions. And of course, as I finalize the router table design, I will do a video, um, hopefully, yeah, I intend on doing a build video. So you'll see this get installed and everything. But this is just basically showing you the products. Move that aside. And here comes the Triton router. <laughs> I've owned this router for years. And I could tell you right off the back, unless they change things and it doesn't look like it's changed in any way except for the adjustment. This is a very good 
value for uh, three, three and a quarter. Well built. It's an Australian company. If you're not familiar, Triton. This is the, one of the main reasons why I got it. Is the height adjustment above the table. Previous one came with this too. Is a guide, edge guide. Yep, the exact same edge guide. I've never actually used used the previous one. I purchased it, popped out the spring, and put it in a router table, and that's the way it's been used ever since. I probably would never use this as a freehand router. And I'll, about, and I'll tell you why. I got this specifically for going in a router table. For all the fanboys, y'all know how I feel about the fanboys. Once again, I try my best to keep it 100. Things about Festool I don't like, I'll state it. I prefer the ergonomics on the Festool routers. That's my preference. So, although this is a well-built router, I probably would never use this freehand. I'd rather use my 1400. It's more powerful than it, but I've never had a situation thus far where I was disappointed by the power of the 1400 that's just the, that's just the truth based on my experience so when i say something about a product and some people get into their feelings that's their personal problem i'm not here to prop up a manufacturer it's for everybody to produce better products, especially the American companies, because you know what? I'm a born and raised American. So when American stuff is produced well, that gives me a sense of pride. See, I can affiliate myself with that. That's the way it works. But it, if an American company doesn't produce good works, they produce garbage, that's an embarrassment to me. If you go abroad or somewhere and somebody said, says American produces junk, that reflects on you. I mean, be serious. So please, people, especially manufacturers, when you offer advice or you, you state disappointment, stop getting in your feelings. Just look for ways to improve. If I remember this right, you hold this. Show you how long since I've used it. Oh, it has a lock. This is a lock right here. So I loosen the lock and I turn this and you'll see it plunge up. But there's a way to make it plunge up quicker. But it's, yeah, it's also, you could do, you could plunge in steps. It has a lot of cool features, believe it or not. As a um, freehand router, I just don't like the ergonomics of it. Personally, you may feel different. This is where the spring is at. If you're gonna use it upside down, the spring actually works against you. So you wanna remove the spring. So you, it has a screw right here and then you can remove the spring. It also has built-in fine adjustment with this. But once again, if you, that's only applicable if you're using it freehand. I don't use it freehand. It has speed control. That's something that would apply to us. The larger the bit, the slower you want to turn it. There's charts that will tell you, the bit manufacturer will tell you it's recommended RPMs. And I want to say, is this is, is like in 10,000, I, I think. Or is it is in thousands? Anyway, it's, it tells you in the, in the, um, in the, in the book. And I think it's an Australian company. I'm looking at a, 
in documentation and it's saying design in Europe. I might be wrong about that, guys. Or maybe it is an Australian company and it's designed in, in um, Europe for an Australian company. I don't know. But I always thought it was Australian. Don't take my word on that. There's a way to make it plunge quicker. Oh, I think it's this. It's an override. Oh, there's a lock also. Yeah? That was something. Yeah, here it is. You can override it and just use it like a regular plunge. Once again, I don't use that. It's not applicable to me. It's going in a router table. It has a depth turret. That's coming off. <laughs> not a neat little thing. The depth turret. They, you can, you can, you can store the thing right here up. That's a lot. Once again, not applicable to me. Is going in a router table. This was the source of my frustration. I don't know if they changed it in design. When I set it up, I'll see. But in certain bits that I use a lot, it became problematic where I couldn't get enough of the bit because to get it high enough, it reached a point where it lock out. And this is the interesting thing about a lockout. This thing is, they have in this area, they, they are a lot like Festo as far as thinking about safety. Not only does it lock and it locks the, um, they call it the shaft. So you can, um, tighten the bit with only one wrench. Also, when it's in that mode to make sure you can't turn on the motor and damage it, this door locks out. And this door opening up this router is, for me, was near impossible. I got to a point where I just had to just try to break this out. And that's what I did. I broke all of this. I mean, this thing was more hassle. I thought it was just gonna be a simple thing, but it turned into a project. And that's, this is what I had to alter so I could defeat um, that feature. And that was the thing. It was, it was locking out even before the, um, the shaft was locking. I couldn't get access to the switch. So even, I could, even when I could get it to a point where I could use the router bit, but not lock the shaft, it was causing a problem for me. So I, didn't, I never did a review on it because I, I didn't want to show, represent the company in a way, in a light that wasn't their fault. I, I was the one that did the, um, the butchery. <laughs> You could change out the brushes, the easily access. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. It has micro adjustment also from the bottom, which, you know, we're going to be doing this. So that's not going to apply. Once again, that's more so. Well, this also could apply for in a table setting also, but we don't want to go underneath the table. That's why we like this. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So this will be above the table. And let's turn it this way. See this part right here? This locks in there. And you will be able to turn Oh, it's actually turning the micro adjuster. Makes sense. And you can make, um, adjust the height. The plate I bought from Woodpecker, because it was designed for it, the hole is already there. It's for two different styles. I think one of these is for the Triton, where... where you will be able to do that.
Also, the dust collection on this is very um, well done. They have a lot of shrouding that helps with dust collection to help contain the dust. It's not perfect, as you know, it's, not, it's never perfect, but it does help with collecting a lot of the dust. And you could hook up a hose to here, it's ribbed to help hold it in place. And um, it helps. This one seemed to be a little bit more improved than the previous one. I can notice that already. Is is um, a little bit better from what I can tell. I don't remember the old one having this additional piece I'm seeing on the inside. But as you can see, it's a beautiful uh, router. It's a well-made router. All the electronics is um, encapsulated. That's very good. Some type of you know epoxy or something like that. So dust doesn't affect it. If you're looking for uh, a nice um, router at a reasonable price, this is it. From my personal experience with it, it, it has caused me no problems. Very, very good router. So basically that's what I want to show you today. It comes with a one wrench. Come with two collets again. Unless they fell off a cliff. And from everything I'm seeing here is literally my router with just some additional features. I can recommend this wholeheartedly. In the future, we'll do a, a more thorough rundown on it. But once again, if something changes in a router bill, when I put this in, you'll find out about it. But once again, based on this being the same as mine, and everything that I'm seeing is the same as, my, as mine with a few improvements, this is an excellent product. As usual, thanks for watching and be safe in the shop. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to be notified when new content is dropped on this channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and drop a comment down below.